Welcome to PBI Visage tool. If you want to use stacked bar chart with multiple target lines, you need to click on modify visual. After reaching on this page, if you are a new user, you need to register with us by clicking on this below link. After registration, you need to put your email ID, password and then login. On this page, you need to click on library. Go to your visual which you need to import. Now you are on visual editor page. To reach on visual editor page, there is an alternative way. For that, you need to go on visual page. When you log in second time, this time when you click on modify visual, the system automatically take you to the visual editor page. Once you log in, the editor screen opens up. Let me give you a very quick overview the way it organized. The left panel deals with all the charts and data fields. The middle panel deals with all the formatting option for your visual. And the right panel is where you select your data as well as see the rendering of your visual. One thing to notice the data used here is a sample data but when you export the visual the data will be used what you have in Power BI. So if you connect into a SQL database or an Excel file or any other data source, you would see that this sample data will not be associated with the exported visual. So this is just for demonstration purpose or looking at how the visual looks like. Here you can see we have cluster bar and for target line, we have choose the bubble type of plot and we have given the target as line type so we have selected the line ns but you can select as you need for your target line like a square circle circle plus on the upper side of this visual editor page here you can switch on multiple visual editor if you have multiple ones from here you can export your visual we have some additional settings as well and documentation for your reference. For users who wants to use it right away, we have already created a visual for you. All you need to do is go to export visual, fill all these details. Like if you want to change this name, you can change it or leave it as it is. Put your name here, your email ID. One important thing to notice, you need to change this GUID by clicking this refresh button. This is important because this GUID has to be unique for your visual. So when you are using this visual in your Power BI dashboard, this ID has to be unique. It should not have a conflict with any other GUID from the marketplace or any of the visual you might used before. But if you are doing an update to the visual and this is not your first time, we recommend keep the GUID same because that will help with update but if you are not updating and this is your very first download please click the refresh button and create a new GUID for your visual in the field section we have selected some important points for you but you can select within these options as per your need same with the format option you can select these options as per your need like if you want so axis, axis line, color for axis line, title, title color, all of these options you are selected here will be available for you in the Power BI dashboard. All of these options should be enough for your visual. Otherwise, if you are opting to a single time download, I would recommend you to choose all options because you will not get second chance after you pay and download. So we recommend tick all the options. Those are here. If you are on a subscription plan, however, we recommend selecting the options that are necessary. This will help avoid cluttered in your Power BI visual dashboard. If you need another visual, you can always come back and select additional options from here and unselect them. Once we are ready and we are satisfied with all the changes, we recommend you to export the free visual, try it out and when you are happy, you can go and make a purchase by clicking on pay and export. And there is a subscription option as well. So now if I am going to click on export, 
it will take about a minute or two it is depending upon how busy is this server as you can see here visual has been downloaded successfully let's go to power bi and let's explore our visual to import our visual we need to click on these three dots import go to the relevant folder where you have downloaded your visual and just open it okay now as you can see this little tiny icon just click it and we have our visual drag it a little bit now i am going to fill my data fields in y axis i am putting brand in x to axis i am putting gen sales in reason i am putting promotion type in x axis i am putting target let's sort it by promotion type now i am formatting this visual a little bit more for basic chart setting i am increasing the size in legion i don't need title but you can put your title and then color it choose any font family and text size for that but i am increasing text size here excesses excesses are fine for me but you can change it from here if you want axis line on just on it from x axis for here like this you have now axis line or you can just off it same with the other options like if you want some other color for your axis line text if you want some other color for your text position of your text title color title text title text size all of these options are available for you you can just change it from here same with the y axis you have all these options now let's go to plot in plot if you want some other color just you can choose from here any color opacity for your bars bar width bar border color if you want bar border width from here increase or decrease bar label label placement in bar all are these options available with you same with the plot one you have also general settings for you you can just remove this title and uh, put custom title and then format the title from here you can have some effects like background on or some other color for background transparency for that color border visualization and shadow if you want just own it from here and here you have shadow like this all these general settings are available for you like this i hope you able to create some powerful insight using this tagged bar chart with target line and do let us know if you face any issues by contacting us through the email provided on our website thank you so much